how to manifest love and you will get result within 24 hours now let's get uh, to the good stuff if you want to try manifesting love for your Kansas say there are five relatively strong forward step you can follow here's what you need to know whether you are looking for a new love interest or want to strengthen your current relationship the main station method is the same step 1 decide what you want first thing first figure out what your your ideal relationship looks like take the time to really consider what you are currently looking for in a partner decide on the kinds of relationship you wish to be in without thinking about the how like this this is you're planting the seed explain kanchi remember that your job is to stay in a vibrational matches to what you wish to see not to figure out how exactly this into well go down leave that up to the universe step 2 visualizing it dream it up in your mind and allow yourself to get excited about it this is you matching the vibrational of what you wish to attract into your life say kancha you might have already downed it hours away picturing your dream partner but now it is time to get serious how do you envision your relationship what qualities do you hope they have step 3 embody it embody the person that already has this love in the love say kanchi act and behave as if your dream person has already manifested embody the vision of you that has these relationships embody the person that already has this love in their life say kanchi act and behave as if your dream person has already manifested embody the version of you that has these relationships how would you be really showing off most likely not of seeing your over an outcome taking self care time doing things that make you feel good regardless of a partner being if you life or not the most important things is believing you are worthy of true love as now feels we manifested what we subconsciously believe we are worth of and a lot of us hold a lot of limiting beliefs around love and relationships we may have had tremendous experience in relationships or we might have insecurities that have built up throughout our lives and that is our biggest block it's also what cause us to settle for less than we deserve in relationships stay for allowing your action when you have done all of the above 
you might find that your ideal person presents themselves don't ignore that sign do something about it taking aligned action is about pursuing and saying yes to potential partner that have the qualities that you desire to have in your life and no to the ones that don't say kancha don't interrogating or pursue someone who does not match what you truly want that's you telling the universe that is the kind of person you want and so you will keep attracting more of those type of people whether you want it or not step 5 surrender and this was is the last the final step is perhaps the hardest one the love that you attract might not look how you imagine so can't you say to prepare yourself for some surprise along the way surrendering is simply way you allowing love into your life without attachment to one specific outcome or person it does not serve you to be this regret liner thinker explain kansha in fact when you are open to creative possibilities for love the universe may surprise you and you will meet someone totally unexpected 10 years later you will go you will look back and understand why it is does not work out with all the other ones well it's worth at short shoot right thanks for watching please subscribe my channel for next video thank you